I think the Norwegian uh, government is, is very pro maritime. Uh, there has been some some quarrels about shipping's role in it, but if you look at the maritime cluster and shipping is is the key role, key part of that. I think the Norwegian government is very much in favor of the maritime industry. I don't think the Norwegian uh, government is anti-shipping, but uh, the current government seems to be anti-ship owners, mm -hmm. and uh, the current tax issue has created a lot of uh, confusion and uncertainty, and it has not strengthened the Norwegian ship owners' commitment to staying in Norway and being a productive part of our environment. The political influence of Norwegian ship owners has declined because you've seen uh, you know, the relative importance of, of shipping to the Norwegian economy has gone down. And at the same time, when Norwegian ship owners stopped using a Norwegian crew, uh, you know, it became less important from an employment point of view. The present government seems to be very supportive of the maritime cluster and they're putting a lot of focus and effort into supporting the maritime clusters to expand into new markets. China is obviously uh, the most important country with regards to shipping. 40% uh, of all dry cargo is being uh, imported to China and 10% uh, of all oil. But more importantly, when you look at the 15 billion barrels of oil being transported uh, yearly, uh, the first two months is a 35% increase to China. So China is really dictating uh, the demand side of shipping. And of course China is on its way to become the number one shipbuilding nation in the world. What I think we'll see in the future is that China is going to play a much more important role as a ship owner, especially within tankers, dry bulk and container shipping. And it will be interesting to see also uh, how active they will be in more the niche segments such as uh, chemical tankers and car carriers. And with China's uh, tremendous ability to adapt to new de technology and develop the technology, China is bound to be a very important player in years to come and also a very dominant player in the shipping industry. With the shift to the east, and I'm, I'm talking Asia now, China and, and some of the other Asian countries, uh, we need to be much more stronger on a competitive base here. And the only way we could do that is to have the strongest knowledge base, the strongest innovation and the strongest uh, capital part here. So, so that's why we need to strengthen these things, otherwise everything will go to Asia. We have to play this, this Norway-Asia axis and we need to find a way to make sure that exists so not everything will, will simply move to the east uh, but we, we have to be in Asia I mean that's that's where the dynamics is we have this uh, Norwegian maritime global hub initiative which is, is a way to try to strengthen this this knowledge uh, part of it what is important is that we manage to attract the talents to the maritime industry and I think we'll succeed on that I think the timing for the Oslo shipping talks is very good Norwegian owners, and for that matter also members of the international audience want to explore and find out what is really going on in Norway now. And it's a pleasure for us to have the top man, the shipping minister, uh, present at the conference. You know, I'm delighted to be part of it because it happens here in Oslo, in my hometown. And I know that uh, the conference last year was a great success and I very much look forward to participating this year. That this conference will provide us to exchange views between the delegates. Um, it's not without reason that we call it shipping talks. There's a focus on a lot of very interesting topics and very important topics for Norway and for other shipping clusters and shipping communities in the world. And there's a very good meeting place for people in the industry and a meeting place for representatives of the government and from the shipping industry and uh, a good place to exchange uh, ideas and opinions and to see how the market will develop over the next uh, year.